Well, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to a another car build and tune-in episode on uh, Horizon 2, uh, all the way leading up to Christmas. So this is the 23rd car build this month, which is absolutely insane. To think that we've done so well, um, we've done a car build every single day. We missed out one day, but that wasn't my fault. That was my Xbox playing up, um, as you probably saw on my vlog. Um, but yeah. On to the comments, uh, please leave a comment if you want to see a car in next episode which will be the 24th uh, Christmas Eve, um, so this is Christmas Eve Eve, <laughs> so yeah, that's cool, and if you see a comment that you do like, uh, give it a thumbs up, and one of the most thumbs up will get chosen, so um, do that and it should be all gravy, and on to um, the comment that was the most voted up on the last episode was by Aidan Walker once again, third time in a row, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, everyone must be liking his choices. Uh, Mercedes C63 AMG blacked out. Okay, very nice car. Um, hopefully it can be a very nice drift car, but we'll have to see this. We'll have to see it. So let's jump and get the car. Okay, so here we go. Um, where is it? Did I go past it? Oh, there it is, sorry. <laughs> uh, there we go, Mercedes C63 AMG, uh, the Kipe Black Series. It looks very nice in red, to be fair, but we got requested to make this uh, murder, uh, blacked out, uh, basically murder the car. Um, so, it looks pretty nice. It should, be look, it should look pretty sweet, to be fair. And completely murdered out with um, blacked out uh, like tints and stuff. Should look pretty wicked. Should look absolutely amazing, to be fair. Uh, so if there's, see if there's any paints that kind of black it out for us. There's one here with a little red stripe on it, but I don't think I'm going to go for that. Um, or we could go for this one, it blacks it out for us. Um, it's a bit of carbon mixed in as well, so that's pretty nice. Um, they've done it all for us. So let's chuck that on. Um, saves me going into the paint myself. Let okay, me, so on to the upgrades here. Um, looks pretty weird on the top. I don't know what's happened to the top of the car there, but that looks really weird. Um, but we'll go with it, we'll stick with this paint. It looks quite murdered out, so that should be all fine. Uh, engine, I'm going to stick with a stock engine, um, even though we can put a V12 in it, but I, I don't see the point. We've got 510 horses already, which is sufficient. Uh, we don't have to change that, we don't want to be all-wheel drive. Uh, stock aspiration will be absolutely fine. We could twin turbo it, but 614 horsepower, it seems a little bit um, a little bit on the, on the high side, so... Let's stick with what it is. Um, we could do some bumpers here. Um, does look very nice with those cannons on there. Not gonna lie. Is that all it adds? Let's go for it then. Let's... No, 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 it's not actually because that is adjustable. Um, I think it might add a little bit of downforce on here. Okay, does that, has it already got a little wing on it? Because I think this last one de-wings it completely. Okay, it's got a little bit of a lip. Uh, let's just stick with the stock. Um, should be absolutely fine. Okay, on to tyres. Hmm. Now, should we... No, I'm not going to upgrade the tyres. To go to race tyres is a little bit too much, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, what we can do is upgrade the tyre whips um, to suit our needs of extra grip. So, 265 on the front and two, uh, 305s on the rear should be absolutely... Perfecto Mundo. Okay, onto onto rims. Okay, what rims do we want? We could have many choices here. They suit it. They suit it. I'm not even going to look for any more. The concave goes very well with the murdered look. That is it. Choosing those. Pretty simple, that. <laughs> so yeah, multi-spoked. Um, I think this car is carbon. I don't think it's completely blacked out. I think it's got a carbon effect to it. but Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, so on to rim size. Let's just let's upgrade the rim size. Let's do it. Why not uh, get more rim in this place? Make it look a little bit more stanced out. Because uh, this car's got quite a bit of fitment to be fair. Uh, to be fair, uh, for a standard car with four it's got quite a bit of got some nice fitment on there. Uh, so on to drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain will be raised. Uh, so go through and put everything race yourselves basically. Watch out for the Storm Island upgrade on transmission. You don't want to be doing that, it'll shorten the gears ridiculously. Okay. So that's that. Um, put the race differential on. And that's all the upgrades on drivetrain. Onto platform and handling. Uh, 
It's got bigger calipers than stock, man. <laughs> Look at the fronts, man. They, they, <laughs> like what? <laughs> ah, they upgrade on the rear. Okay, let's put race brakes on there. Uh, saves weight as well. Uh, race suspension should look pretty nice, and it does stances it out a little bit. Yeah, but this car looks absolutely sweet. Love the looks of this car, um, especially these wheels. Those wheels, are, they pull off on this car. They pull off. So. Race anti roll bars on the front and rear. Um, should I roll cage it? Why not? Why not, huh? Let's do that. And weight reduction, I think we're going to need to push it down to 1,400 kilos, which is is really heavy, to be fair. Very heavy. Okay, so now onto power. I don't want to push this too much higher in power. Uh, 5 to 1 horsepower after that. Let's put exhaust on for the extra sounds. 5 3 8. Uh, if we push this up to 600, which camshaft should do, there we go, 590, that's about fine. Uh, let's just do that, and uh, just chuck on the flywheel, just for that extra minus 8 kilograms, yeah? <laughs> so yeah, that is all the upgrades done, so let's jump out into free roam. Uh, I'm going to head to, I'm going to head to the airfield. Uh, I keep going back to Nice, I keep going back to the docks. Uh, let's go to the airfield, um, and try and catch some lines. So let's go here. And let's just teleport our way over there to about there. Let's go. So yeah, thanks for all the support on this series. Uh, it's unbelievable support to be fair. Um, obviously, I haven't really been doing much Forza videos. So for me to do a series like this and still get support is absolutely spot on. So I appreciate it. Guys, I appreciate it. Um, so there's Harvey. Okay, so this feels quite stiff in the front wheels at the moment, so we might have to camber this up a little bit. Whoa, okay. Need to grip up the rear. Just did not want to hold them. Gears are a bit too long. I just noticed they got the music on. One second. Right, let's turn that off so I can actually hear the end. Let's do a little bit more conservative run this time instead of trying to chuck it in like a madman. Engine sounds unbelievable. Okay, it does feel quite grippy to be fair. Uh, to be running stock tyres, it does feel very grippy, but I think we're going to have to loosen that up a tiny bit. Uh, okay, let's just put a, pretty much a bass tune on here. Um, tires I'll leave the same as they are for now. Um, I could go up in the rear a tiny bit. Let's just go to 32. Gearing is very long. Look how long that is. That's crazy. Right, let's bring that right down. The gears are really weirdly shaped. Right, they're no, never normally shaped like that. Uh, gear 4 might have to go a little bit shorter. Just in case we do have to use gear 4 at any point. Uh, so let's just bring these. No, you want to go. Yeah, you want to go to acceleration. Okay, don't worry, I'll get mixed up here. I thought that was gear four there, but no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> so I just got completely in a muddle there. Um, so onto alignment. I think I'm gonna have to camber up the front quite a bit this time because it feels very grippy in the front. Uh, I need a little bit of looseness round those parts. So 2.4, uh, tow I'll leave, 5.5 caster, pretty stiff already so let's just put that rear up a tiny bit. Um, let's put the springs a little bit stiffer as well. So that should be up there. Ride height all the way to the bottom as usual. Damping, very stiff already to be fair. Um, bump stiffness can come down a tiny bit. Differential can go 100 and 100. And hopefully this should be able to get sideways a little bit easier this time. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, gears might have to go a little bit longer. I think I might have took it just a tiny bit too far.
engine sounds amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's get some tyre pressure in these front tyres. Uh, it's far too grippy. Far too grippy. Um, so we could go more camber on the front to be fair. Uh, just trying to loosen up these front tyres to be a little bit more a little bit more normal in the wheel. Uh, so let's let's take this up quite a bit. Let's go to like minus three. See if that helps. Uh, gearing can go uh, back to speed a tiny bit more. Uh, gear three just felt a little bit a little bit too short. Uh, but obviously it's, it's trying to nail. Well, I found this try and try one ever. I can't speak. Try one error with the gears myself. I never really get them spot on unless I just play with them until I get the sweet spot. Okay, the front feels a lot better. Oh, okay. I think it's more getting used to this car that I need to do. Uh, let's let's take um, the tire pressures in the front up. Um, struggling, struggling with the grip in the front here. Uh, it feels very, very grippy. Um, let me just up the tire pressures. Let's just do it to like 36. See if that helps or not. Um, the gearing is about fine. I can go a little bit more towards speed. Alignment seems okay. Go up in the front a tiny bit. Uh, we can do the rear a tiny bit as well. Uh, let's see if that helps. Should do. Should do all gravy, baby. Okay, that feels much better in the wheel now. I think we just got the right amount of power to break the in these parts. Uh, in this car, because obviously the tire whips so they're quite quite heavy to start off with, um, quite wide and heavy. Um, so yeah, you might have to take some getting used to this car to be honest. Um, whew, okay, maybe tire whips didn't have to be upgraded, uh, but we can work with them. Because it does feel good, look at this. It does feel very nice to be honest. It looks absolutely sweet. I don't know what the lines are on top of the car though. That's pretty weird. Uh, but yeah, it looks very nice this car. I'm just trying to work out what is actually what's happening with this car because it feels I don't know. I can't get my I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if there's just a little bit too much tyre whip in the front, uh, but what we can do to eliminate that is get less grip in the front, which is to up camber, but it's very high in the negatives already. Um, so we can just take it towards the negatives a little bit more. Um, see if it actually helps. Let's go to like minus four, uh, see if it feels a little bit better in the wheel. Oh my god, he's serious. I think we might have to camber up the rear a tiny bit more as well. Because I think the rear is gripping up, which is counteracting the front. It does feel a little bit a little bit better in the wheel uh, with doing that. But let's camber up the rear as well, just a little bit. See see if it does actually affect or not. Uh, we can change it back if not. Um, so let's just up the... To negative camber here, uh, three, minus 3.6. It's probably the most camber I've put on a car on this game yet. But it's probably the highest tire whips I've used on this game yet as well. So, okay, it's running sideways quite well there. Nice transition. Like that point there would have gripped up a little bit more, so it, it felt good. I 
Okay, it's transitioning there as well, which it was struggling to do last time. Oh, wow. That was my fault. It just didn't go wide enough. It started cutting in a little bit far too early there. So yeah, it does feel a lot better now. It does feel a lot better. Uh, but one thing with this car, you will have to get used to it. I don't expect to just jump into it and drift it like an absolute mayhem. Um, there's a lot of, lot of weight about this car. Uh, 1,400 kilos is a lot of weight um, and a lot of tyre width as well. So you have to kind of snap the grip out of this car. Like once it's sideways, it's comfortable, but it's just getting it snapping it sideways as quickly as you can. Uh, but like once it's some sideways, the wheels are spinning, uh, you can just get sideways like this very, very nicely. So, very nice car to be honest. Very, very nice car. Um, very nice sounding engine. A little bit wide. Thought I was going to hit the tail on that plane though. Do watch out for the tail if you try and do this section. Uh, don't go too wide. I kind of see it as a clipping point, uh, but I don't try and get too close to it. So yeah, this car's feeling very nice now. Once I got used to the car, I uh, got used to the grip that this car, um, the grip of this car. Um, it's very nice to drift. Um, pretty, like, it is grippy, uh, but it is also got the power to spin up the tyres very nicely uh, to go sideways. So. I think that'll be about it for this this car. Um, pretty nice car. I'll be pulling this out in the future. Um, holds a nice angle. Uh, pretty good on this section as well. So hope you guys do check out this car. Uh, I'm gonna swim for a prize. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the ninety-eight thousand coins. Oh, we got another spin. Why not? What we got this time? Twelve thousand coins. Yeah, big baller. Big baller, so <laughs> to think that we just built this car and then we get 8,000 coins back. Well, come on. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to upload this tune onto the storefront for you guys to download. Um, a little bit a little bit different to our normal tunes, um, but we had to make it work with those tyres. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have upgraded them, uh, seeing as they were quite wide already, and then I upgraded them for to some ridiculous width, which is crazy, but... We sorted it out, um, it's feeling quite nice right now, so that's good. Um, so I'm going to put that as drift. I'm uploading this on storefront, so all you have to do is type my cable tag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube. And you'll be able to download this tune, which saves you copying it from the video, basically. Uh, because if I was watching, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't copy it. I'd probably download the tune, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That is the car made and done. So hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up and put a comment what you want to see next episode and i'll see you guys later.